might have enough for two, I can't quite tell. Let's find out. Oh, I do! Yeah, I knew adding that Kuroku strength point was a good idea. Okay guys, and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm playing Shaman King, Power of Spirit. I have played this game once before, and the overall except er, pff, and overall it was received fairly positively, so I figured I might as well try to do a playthrough of the game, just to get through it, see if people enjoy it, and see how far we can get before everyone loses interest and abandons me like everyone else in my life does. So that being said, let's get started! Now, this was based on a TV show, which I have seen now. I've actually seen the show, and the show is actually very different from the game, but they do have similar storylines. on Earth, when two stars meet, our traditional song of the Dobi tribe. Whoa, I did not press skip. I think it skipped itself. Um, I hope you guys read all that. <laughs> it's finally arrived. It has? Who is it? Destiny Star. Oh, yeah. It's the big old thing that passes by. It's... It's so, so awesome! awesome. The what star? Hey, come on! Pay attention, shorty! Every 500 years, the destiny star circles the Earth, with the star of destruction following close behind. Like a bad ex-girlfriend. It seeks to rain mass destruction and chaos all over the planet. Ah, just like an ex. Oh, well, how come we never hear about it raining destruction and chaos and stuff like in history class? Uh... Because each time the stars have come, there has also come a shaman who has risen to greatness by preventing the disaster and guiding the world to a positive destiny. You mean like the Shaman King? <gasps> the name of the game! Crazy shaman tournament stuff is all about saving the world. Yeah, more or less, kind of. Yeah, and the opening bell just sounded. And that's basically all you need to know. The destiny star appears every 500 years. Signaling to shaman around the world that the shaman tournament is about to begin. <gasps> Here we go! We'll be crowned shaman king. By uniting with the great king of spirits, the shaman king will achieve a power like none other on earth. Okay, that's cool. All his wishes and desires will come true. Like infinite no bacon shaman, cheesecake! Heart wins. He or she will help maintain order and balance throughout the world. But if a shaman of evil intent wins, he or she could use his powers to breed chaos and destruction. Yeah, so really, if a bad shaman wins, then the destruction star is actually kind of going to be a good thing. Yeah, those are, well, not all the characters in the game, but those are a lot of the characters in the game and the show. Okay, and I would show you the intro, but because I'm playing this a PS2 game on my computer, it's not quite working the way it's supposed to, so it's shaking like hell. Though I do think the theme song on this game is pretty cool, but I'm gonna skip this because it's just, it's gonna be a pain to look at the whole time. Okay, episode one, The Destiny Star. Ah, uh, we're just chilling in every teenager's favorite hangout spot. A graveyard. I don't know if this was made specifically for the game or if they just took a still from the show, but this is actually a scene in the show where they are here. So we have Yo on the right and Amita Maru on the left. I feel uneasy. I can't help but wonder if my strength isn't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun if I can't read this. Enough to help us win the tournament. Oh, that's all? For a second there, I was worried it was something serious. It is serious, yo! We don't even know what the tournament entails, so it's hard to know if we're as prepared to as we should be. As a samurai, I should always be prepared. Yeah, but there's no sense in worrying about things we can't control, right? Let's just expect the unexpected. Yo... Don't worry, you're an awesome samurai, Mitamaru. Whatever happens, we'll manage. Let us hope you're right, Yo Asakura. Exclamation point! Ooh, here comes Silva. Not Silver, Silva. My name is Silva. See? And I am a warrior from the Grand Shaman Council. I am here to test you. Okay. Let us hope you are prepared. Wait, prepared for what? Hey, what indeed? If you were half as prepared as a shaman fighter needs to be, uh, you would have not have asked me for what. I don't have any for win, did it? So sticking on the rules. In order to qualify for the shaman tournament. If you do so, I will grant you your oracle bell. What's an oracle bell? Well, it's kind of like a pager, but it's got a lot of built-in apps. Seriously, this was ahead of its time. They had iPhones before they even thought of them. 
Okay, it's proof that you can fight in the shaman tournament, but let's not get ahead of ourselves first. You must defeat me in battle. Oh, oh, I get it. So it's like an entry test. Well, sign me up. That's the spirit has spirit, because they all fight with spirits in this game. Oh, I neglected to mention you have 10 minutes. Sorry, ancient customs. Now, before we begin, allow me to lecture you on the battle. Uh, no. Are you sure? Then let us begin. Look, if I wanted to play the tutorial, I would have signed up for the tutorial. Let's kick this guy's butt. Battle and attack. Okay, bring it on, Silver. I'm about to whoop your sorry butt into next Tuesday. Let's rock this thing. Let's go All right, and we join forces with our spirits, and I guess it makes me a better fighter, and go! Ah, jeez, we both hit each other. Would you block? Jeez. Yeah, you like that? Come on, Silver, get up, get up. What's the matter, big guy? Silver's got what is that? One, two, three, four. Silver's got five spirits. What's the matter? You can't take on a kid with one? See, in, the, in this, you have to actually weaken Silver to a certain point. In the show, Yo just had to hit him once. This time, you have to sort of beat the living crap out of him. Okay, so we have to join forces with our spirit to actually try and make it kind of like his. He has five spirits, and each one of them is on his limbs, and then he's got those wings on his back, which are pretty cool. I just wish I had wings on my back. Okay, so that was all I can do for that turn. Once you attack, your character can't do any more, and eventually you get to fight with a bunch of characters, but right now we just have Yo. Well, now it's Silver's turn. Silva, I keep calling him Silver. Okay, bring it on! Okay, so this time we have to use Spirit Control, which is where you take your spirit and you actually turn him into a physical object to help you fight. fight for the pride of the Dobie. Yeah, he's got one spirit on each arm, or each limb, and then the wings. Oh, you're gonna attack me? You're gonna attack me? Come on. Whoa! Oh, he threw me! That's one thing you can't block is- Oh, you did not just try to whip- Oh! Ha! Ha! Yeah! Ah! Oh! That's so cheap! Stupid cheap computers! I think at this time I actually have to, like, completely dry drain his health. I can do that. Okay, now, if you look underneath our health, we have the thing called Furioku. It allows us to do special attacks. Like, look, I can shoot lasers out of my sword. And hit. Ah, jeez, no. Okay. And let's finish him off, eh? Special attack! And... Bye-bye. Oh, relax. It was just a test. I only beat the living crap out of you. Very well. Hmm. You have discovered the power within. Why, thank you. Congratulations. You have qualified for the Shaman Tournament. You better believe I did. Now give me that uh, wrist iPhone. This is the Oracle Bell, the official pass for the Shaman Tournament participants. Whoa, sweet! I can have this? Of course, every participant must have one. It's like a people we used to contact you. We used to use wind spirits to ring actual bells, but now we've gone wireless. The Oracle Bell is your only connection to the Grand Shaman Council. It's how we contact you and give you information. It tells you your next opponent, the location and time of the next match, various rules and outcomes of battles. Not only that, the will of the Great King of Spirits appears directly on the Oracle Bell. Seriously? No way! The cycle of the world continues to spiral, and the great destruction is close at hand. Like Grandpa always tells me. Wow, your Grandpa always tells you great destruction is Only close at hand? King with a pure heart can save us from certain destruction. Okay, bye, bye Silva! Woo, we did it! Oracle Bell, Shaman Tournament, blah 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 blah. Alright, give me that level up, and I get a strength point, and boom! I passed that with an S level, which if you don't know, for some reason in Japan they grade things S is above A, whatever. Either way, I got an S rank. Awesome. Wow, a Shaman tournament entry test. You really passed? Sure did, and here's the proof. Check it out. My wrist iPhone. Cool, what is it? You're late, where's dinner? Yeah, um, honestly, out of everyone in the game and show, she's the scariest. She's got like a temper and she's like invincible. And what's that thing? Some kind of video game? It actually does have video games on it, you know? See, told you, iPhone, ahead of its time. No, Anna, it's, hmm, you know, it kind of looks like a beeper. Oh boy. You got a beeper behind my back? Why wouldn't you tell me you got a beeper unless, who is she? No one, it's for the, ah! Ooh, that had to hurt. Yeah, she's got, she's got a really powerful, um, slapping hand. How about demonstrating the Furier stuff? Furioku, spirit control. Good idea, let's go, Amita tomorrow. Yes. Trust me, Anna, watch this. Amita tomorrow. spirit form into the Yoasakura? 
Well, this is awkward. What a cutie! Huh. Oh, and I'm not just making fun of Rio's voices. That's exactly how he talks. You'll hear it later on. Oh, wait. She has got it going on, as the kids are saying these days. She makes my toes feel like fireworks. Honestly, every girl makes his toes feel like fireworks. Urgh, there is another girl, just as I thought. No, Anna, it's not what it... Who are you? Hee <laughs> hee. That is a... That is an ominous answer. Yo. Anna, wait, this girl's not... That had to hurt. Okay, so... Now that we're between episodes, I can use the... Uh, strength points I just got and I can increase four of my characteristics I'm trying to think which one's the best one to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Furioku. You can never have too much of that It allows you to do all your special attacks makes things much easier and we move on to the next stage from the north. Episode 2. One thing I do find this curious about this game is that on the cutscenes a lot of the time They have voices that are actual like well, you all got the crap beat out of him Sometimes they have the actors doing the dialogue, but other times it's just silent like this. But And then they talk like this. And since Meryl wasn't in the TV show, it wasn't just taking lines from the TV show that fit in here. They actually had to shoot recordings for this. So I don't know why they only did half of it. Did they run out of budget halfway through? Okay, Meryl, we'll take good care of you. Yo, do you mind explaining this? Uh, like I said, I don't know anything. Oh, stupid me. Dumb, Meryl. Here, I got a letter from Master Yomei. Grandpa? I was told that I was to train to be a kickin' shaman and potential wife under one... Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I made the kicking part up. See, I'm a servant of the Inugami family from Kuchi, and see, we're the... Did she say that her family's from Kuchi? <laughs> I'm a 12-year-old. Alright, we're the family that did shaman thing. Servant? Isn't that the right word? I'm sorry, potential wife? Yeah, because Anna's supposed to sort of marry Yo. He made her a promise. Long story. What's that? It's your beeper, Yo. Must be another girlfriend of yours. I'm not that good with machines. Allow Meryl. Let's see, here we are. Official information for the free first preliminary round. Time, two weeks from now at 2 a.m. Why would you have a fight at 2 a.m.? People sleep before that. Location, Sunshine Building. Opponent, some guy named Horo Horo. And like I said, the game is very different from the show, because in the show, they've already met Horo Horo at this point. They just call him Trey. But in the game, this is the first time we meet him. So, you know, whatever. Meryl, I've never been here before. Picture, must take a picture. Oh, look who's here. Hey, look at you, all the way up there. Well, if you really want to know, he's a bit of a drama queen. Well, a bit. Not much, but just enough to where he likes to make a big entrance. He did. And somehow he landed on the ground. My name's Haro Haro, but most people call me Trey Racer. Oh, really? Because I'm a big-time board head. This is my guardian ghost. Chloe. Corey. I thought it was Chloe. My bad. Don't underestimate that midget. That's that thing can do a lot. Don't you forget it. She's a Mnuchin. Oh yeah. And she's my friend. Your friend. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. You're going down, dude. I probably gave him too much of a southern accent, especially since he's from the north. Some people can do specials like that before they actually get into an actual fight. Yeah, I think this is this is still kind of an introduction stage since it's only the second episode, so it's teaching me how to duck, how to block, and stuff like that. You can actually dodge pretty much every attack that gets thrown at you at this game if you time it right. Okay, so Yo asks Trey why he wants to win the Shaman Tournament. Yo, th Morty freaks out because he, he shouldn't be casually conversating. So when he's Shaman King, he's going to create an enormous lily pad as far as the eye can see. Why? Because his uh, guardian ghost is Minutian, and they live under lily pads. But deforestation is killing all the lily pads, so they're getting rid of the Minutians, and they're all sort of, you know, going extinct. So Yo said he should let Trey win, but then Anna's like, you can't let him win. So Yo's like, okay, I'll win the tournament, and I'll create a lily pad field for you. How's that sound? What, what are you talking about? That's not the point. This is something I got to achieve for myself. I know, I know. Don't worry, Trey, we'll, we'll get it to you. Okay, so do we actually get to fight now, please? My turn? My turn. Okay, let's go. And since he's standing right in front of me, I can just attack him. 
Now, pretty much every time I fight in this game, unless I'm fighting like a super tiny minion or something, I'll always use Spirit Control because it's stronger than Spirit Unity. So I don't really know why Spirit Unity is an option, except for in that first level. Alright, ready? Let's get him! See, everyone else uses Spirit Control too. It's just stronger. Hua! 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 Pow! 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 You missed, Trey! Sorry! Uh, 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 ah! Oof! Hua! Hua! Oh yeah, okay, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, he quits in the middle of the fight too. I don't know if that's actually something you can do. If it is, I have no idea how. But it's just what he does right here. And he heals himself. You can heal yourself out of fights. That I know how to do. Okay, and we'll move up, chasing after him. Come back here, Trey! And we're gonna battle you. Putting it on. Let's rock this thing! Ah, that was actually more on par than I thought. Time to get serious. Yo, you're never serious. Just relax. Wah! Pow! 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 Come on, Trey! Come on! Come on! Get up! Alright, super... Oh! Ah! Oh! Yeah! Super sword laser! Ah! Yeah, you shouldn't have done the last move. Gave me a wide opening on you. Pow! Wonder how much Furyoko I have. Enough for two special attacks? Let's find out. Might have enough for two. I can't quite tell. Let's find out. Oh, I do! Yeah, I knew adding that Furyoku strength point was a good idea. Sorry, Trey, but you did! Well, you kind of sucked, honestly. You barely got a hit on me at all. But, you know, you did some good stuff. Woohoo! Too bad, Trey. Grrr. And so, another experience point and another level. And S rank! Yeah! And the more S ranks you get, the more of the extra um, items you get. And these things are weapons, or strengths, or fastness, or fastness, that's a thing, right? Or things that can heal you, you know, or bring back Furyoku. Either way, they're very useful to have, so the higher the rank is better. <clears throat> I would like to commemorate your first victory. See, that's how he talks, he's French. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Just thought I'd come and hang out. Cool. But, but, you guys just fought. You lost, Trey. Shouldn't you be bitter and angry and, heh. <laughs> yo, kick my butt fair and square. Besides, it's not like I've been disqualified yet. The preliminary rounds consist of three battles. It's a two out of three type of deal. So all I gotta do is win my next two fights and I get to move on. And then I can kick yo's butt in the second round. That's right. Whatever you say. Okay, everybody, I whipped up a feast. Ah, yes, a home-cooked meal is the best from a big hug. Oh, it's like, oh, forget it, I can't, I, <laughs> moving on to the next dialogue. You're the best, Metal. Nero? That's a cute name. Isn't it just? Don't get no funny ideas about my Nero, Ooh. Huh? Who said anything about funny ideas? Excuse me? Meryl doesn't belong to anybody. You got that? You pompous pompadour pug. Eesh, a little harsh. She is... she's got a little mood swing going on. Not, as naive as she seems. not quite. Oh no, I was unafraid to show her thorns. Eh, uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, whoa, everyone's together. Gotta take a photo, commemorative photo, so we can commemorate. She sure takes a lot of pictures. Ha ha ha. Sounds good. It'll make a good souvenir. Well, I lost this time, but next time there's gonna be a different... Or, it's... yeah, I read that wrong. I know, I'll beat you in half the time. Heh <laughs> heh. It's hard to do an animated story when you can't read, right? Okay, so we'll add one more strength to Yo. We'll go ahead and add it to his attack, just to make the next one stronger. And we'll save the game. And I'm going to end this episode there. That was Shaman King Power of Spirit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I have another video coming soon, so stay tuned in.